Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to English with Ikram. In today's video, I am going to discuss a very important topic that is phrase. It's very important especially for all sort of test. English based jitne bhi test hote hain jisme English ka portion hai especially abhi jo post announce hui hain ki ke गवर्नमेंट की तरफ से सी टी पी एस टी आई टी 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 एंड या एस एस टी फ्रेज इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ऑल दो सॉर्ट ऑफ टेस्ट जितने भी टेस्ट हैं और हमारे स्टूडेंट्स के लिए सबसे कन्फ्यूजिंग मैनी स्टूडेंट्स हैव ऑस क्वेश्चन अबाउट फ्रेज दे हैव ऑस मी टू अपलोड अ वीडियो अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ फ्रेज नॉर्मली इट हैपन दैट इन योर क्वेश्चन पेपर यू आर गिवन अ सेंटेंस एंड अ पार्ट ऑफ अ सेंटेंस इज अंडर लाइन एंड यू आर ऑस टू आइडेंटिफाई द फ्रेज कि कौन सा फ्रेज है इधर इट्स नॉन फ्रेज वर्ब फ्रेज एडजेक्टिव फ्रेज और एडवर्ब फ्रेज तो जब फ्रेज का कॉन्सेप्ट ही क्लियर नहीं है यू कैन नॉट आइडेंटिफाई द फ्रेज तो दिस क्वेश्चन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वेरी कंफ्यूजिंग फॉर यू एंड आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो योर दिस एम्बिक्विटी योर दिस इश्यू विल टोटली बी रिजॉल्व योर कॉन्सेप्ट अबाउट फ्रेज विल टोटली बी क्लियर वॉच द वीडियो टिल द एंड एंड शाल एंड यूर कमिंग टेस्ट this question will no longer be uh, an issue for you so let's get started first of all i will discuss phrase and then different types of phrase based on parts of speech and then uh, tomorrow inshallah i will solve the paper a past paper uh, of english portion tomorrow for you with logic last year ke paper jo hai usme jitna bhi english ke questions hain english ka jo portion hai wo main aapke liye solve karunga with logic जाहिर सी बात है उसमें मैक्सिमम पोर्शन ग्रामर का होता है या फ्रेजेज होते हैं सिनेम्स होते हैं इस तरह की चीज़ें तो विद लॉजिक मैं आपके लिए सॉल्व करूँगा तो ईटा की जो सीरीज़ मैंने ईटा की प्रिपरेशन के लिए स्टार्ट की है इट विल डेफिनेटली हेल्प यू इन योर टेस्ट प्रिपरेशन सो लेट के स्टार्ट वट इज़ अ फ्रेज फ्रेज इज अ ग्रूप ऑफ वर्ड्स ग्रूप ऑफ टू और मोर देन टू वर्ड दैट मेक्स अ मीनिंगफुल यूनिट there are four thing that you have to keep in your mind first of all it's a group of words the second thing it does not contain any subject or any verb no subject verb combination right and the third thing is that when it is used alone it does not make any sense it cannot give full meaning full sense when it is used alone and the fourth very important thing about phrase is when it is used within a sentence then it gives complete sense when it is used uh, in a sentence or in a clause then it gives full meanings so these are four very important point that uh, which are very much important about a phrase a group of words first thing the second thing is no subject word combination the third thing it it does not make any complete sense when it is used alone and the fourth very important thing is when it is used within a sentence it co- gives complete sense okay i hope that your concept about phrase is clear for example on the table a smart boy a big house let me take this example main example se aap ko relate karta hu a big house it's a phrase it's a meaningful unit but it does not make full sense it does not give full meaning but when i will use this in a sentence i have built a big house now within a sentence it make complete sense when i say a big house there is any subject any verb but when i say i have built a big house i have bought a big house now it is making a complete sense right now there are five different types of phrases that you are asked to identify in your paper noun phrase based on parts of speech major types noun phrase verb phrase adjective phrase adverb phrase and preposition phrase let me discuss all these one by one i will take some example from past papers mere paas aapke past papers hain unme se main kuch example bhi lunga noun phrase what is a noun phrase noun phrase acts like a noun in a sentence in a sentence noun phrase acts like a noun there is a head word which is noun head word noun hoga plus 
any modifier, a group of words that will say something about that noun. For example, example sab se baal baat kli ho jayegi. A bird on the tree. A bird on the tree is singing a song. A bird on the tree. A bird. It's a noun. And on the tree, that is uh, some sort of you can say modification, adding something in the meaning of in uh, saying something about that bird. So this is a noun phrase. A bird on the tree is uh, singing a song. That's a complete sense. But here, a bird on the tree. That's a noun phrase. Another example you can take: uh, a woman in the window shouted for help. A woman in the window. A woman, you know, it's a noun. In the window. That's uh, another group of words that is saying something about that woman. And complete sentences shouted for help. So in this sentence, if this part is underlined a woman in the window it is a noun phrase noun as a head word and then a group of word that add something in in the meaning of that noun that say something in the meaning of that noun so this is a noun phrase i hope this is clear i will discuss uh, some nouns for the clarification of meanings the next is verb phrase what is the verb phrase Verb phrase is a group of main verb plus helping verb. You will find main verb, lexical verb plus helping verb, auxiliary verb. That's the combination. For example, obviously, uh, verb will be a head word and then modifier or you can say uh, plus helping verb. She has finished her work. She has finished her work. It will be underlined. Has finished. This is a verb phrase. You should do hard work. Should do. You should do hard work. Helping verb plus main verb. This is a verb phrase, right? Let me give some more example from past papers. Uh, here is the sentence. We have been working since 9 a.m. Have been working is underlined in one of the last uh, past papers. Sentences: We have been working since 9 a.m. Have been working is underlined, and, and here the question is the underlined part is noun, verb, adjective, adverb, phrase. To so have been working, helping verb plus main verb is a verb phrase. Another example: I will be going to France next week. I will be going to France next week. Will be going. This is a verb phrase. Helping verb plus main verb. It may have been. It may have been being repaired. May have been being repaired. Again, the combination is helping verb plus main verb. Again, this is a verb phrase. Right. The next is. Adjective phrase. I think now uh, we have got the point. Head word plus there is some sort of uh, modifier, determiner. Adjective phrase one or more words work together to give more information about an adjective. What is adjective phrase? One or more words that work together to add something more in the meaning of an adjective. Right. For example, I am very happy. I am happy. I am very happy. So happy is an adjective, you know. And very happy. If this part is underlined, very happy in a sentence. Very happy is adjective phrase. Very a modifier. Happy is adjective. Very happy. Yes. She is extremely busy. Extremely busy. Busy plus extremely another word that adds something in the meaning of an adjective. So that is an adjective phrase. Head word is happy. Head word is busy, and uh, then another word, a group of word or a single word that adds something in the meaning of adjective. Let me give some example from past papers. 
he has clever ideas he has clever ideas it was a it was a very big meal there is there is a sentence it was a very big meal very big big is the head word and very is modifier so this is adjective phrase another example is the students were really bored with the film the students were bored really bored with the film the head word is bored and then there is a group of word that adds something in the meaning of that adjective so this is adjective phrase in adjective phrase the head word will be an adjective and then there will be a word a group of word that will say something in the that will work together to add something in the meaning of that adjective right the next one is uh adverb adverb phrase yes i have discussed noun phrase and then verb phrase and then adjective phrase now it's adverb phrase again what is the adverb one or more words work together to add something in a meaning of an adverb within a sentence or within a clause you will find one or more than one word that will work together to add something in the meaning of an adverb adverb phrase modifies verb you know that uh, adverb is a word that adds something in the meaning of a verb so obviously adverb phrase will also modify a verb for example uh, he ran very fast head word is he ran fast fast is head word really in another adverb that is adding something in the meaning of a verb uh, adverb they ran fast so really fast is a combination of word that acts as a adverb phrase and this adverb phrase is modifying an another verb that is ran they ran really fast so this is adverb phrase they ran really fast adverb phrase add something or modifies a verb let me give some example from past papers please do it now please do it now do it now is being underlined and here do it now adverb of time this is adverb phrase he spoke very softly very softly this is underlined very softly he speaks softly very softly is a combination of word head word plus modifier is an adverb phrase that is adding something in the meaning of spoke a verb they did it as fast as possible as fast as possible that is uh, being underlined is going to line kiya hua this is adverb phrase they did it fast as fast as possible a combination of word that work together to add something in the meaning of an adverb and as fast as possible what did that's a verb so adverb phrase add something in a meaning of a verb now the last kind of type of phrase is that is preposition phrase again the same thing what is preposition phrase the last one one or more words work together to give information about preposition one or more word that work together to give an extra information to give an information about an uh, preposition and you know that uh, preposition informs about time location or uh, condition or profession for example the boy is sleeping on the bed the boy is sleeping on the bed on that is the man word here head word and then uh, a group of word that give more information about the preposition on the carpet on the carpet is, that is a prepositional phrase on the carpet under the chair in the tree on the bus so these are prepositional phrases let me give you some example from last papers they were arguing about money here is a sentence in one of the last papers the underlined part of sentence is about money they are arguing about money here about that is the head word about money it's a prepositional phrase that is 
a prepositional phrase about is a preposition the window was behind a large brown sofa the window was where it's uh, giving information about location it is, it is telling us about the location the window was behind a large brown sofa to so behind a large brown sofa this part is underlined this is prepositional phrase i hope that now your concept about phrase and its types and different kind of uh, different types of uh, phrases that's totally clear what's a phrase and what are different types of phrases and uh, i hope that now you will be able to identify different types of phrases when they will be given when you will come across in your coming eta paper in my next video that i have told you that tomorrow inshallah at 9 or 9 30 pm tomorrow on 13th january i will discuss some uh, phrases from different past papers tomorrow i will solve a paper for you and then uh, i will discuss only phrases in tomorrow's video tomorrow's session i will just discuss some uh, past papers english portion of past papers basic grammar or Eng um, english grammar and uh, parts of speech whatever is there phrases synonyms antonyms is tarah ki cheezein aapke paper mein aati hain to i will discuss for you with logic ye option hai right option to kyun hai jab aapko logic samajh aayega aapka concept clear hoga then aapke liye wo question attempt karna aainda us tarah ka koi bhi question aa sakta hai aur aapke liye easy hoga to watch my all videos of eta series for your quality preparation that's all for today thank you very much allah hafiz